Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for July 2022. Today is the 22nd of June, so this reading will be viable and from today, the 22nd of June through the end of July. So first things first, before we get to the cards, let me just slide these over for a moment because I need to share something that I saw in meditation for you, Scorpio. Now I'm going to use pronouns like me, my, I'm going to use first person, but put yourself in the shoes, in, <laughs> put yourself in my shoes, because really what this vision is, is I was putting myself into your shoes. So apply this where it applies for you. So the vision was that I was sitting in a library and I was given a book and when I opened this book, I realized that it was filled with all the different memories from my life. Everything that I had experienced up until now were within the pages of these book of this one book. And, and the cover was blue, actually. So I find it interesting that we're starting off with this kind of blue background because the, the book was actually this exact color blue here. And as I was thumbing through the pages, of the book, I, I was kind of startled at how detailed it really was. And then I was told to think about which parts of this book were most important to me out of everything that was written, what were the most important parts. So I started dog earing all these different pages that I felt were, you know, the important parts of the story. And then I was instructed to write those, po those points down on a sheet of paper, number them and, and write them down the most important parts of the story. I was told to write them down and then I was told to turn that that paper in and that's when I began to panic I looked at my instructor and I said I don't want to turn it in and I said it loud enough to the point where everybody else in the library looked up at me and one guy was like shh because they were all doing the same assignment and it didn't seem like anybody else was having any problem at all with it. But I was like, I don't want to turn that in. Like, I don't, I don't want to give away. I, I don't want that information. I don't even know exactly what it was. If it was that I, I didn't want it known. If I didn't want to let it leave my hands. Um, regardless, I was panicked. And um, then the instructor said, don't be shy. And I said, no. And then this one other person that was in the library was like, dude, what's your problem? Just turn it in. We all have to do it. And so I looked around the library and I started running for my life. <laughs> I ran out of the library. I ran down the street. And as I was running, this dude in like an 80s style, 80s, style track suit it was like bright purple with like all these other colors on it it was that specific like 80s material and I don't know the, the name for it but it basically he was <laughs> he was I don't know why he was dressed like that but he was running next to me um and and he looked right at me and he said what are you so afraid of and I looked at him right in the eye and I said being myself and when I said being myself, I woke up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night, and that was the end. So with that, <laughs> let's get to your reading, Scorpio, for the month of July 2022. July 2022. Wow, the death card, which is you. I mean, you're coming out as yourself, which makes sense because I'm literally entitling this being myself. This, this whole reading is about being yourself. Sorry, hold on a second. I got to move my light. <laughs> So, you know, that's that's a great way to start because this the whole point of this, like I was saying, and look, there's that nine of swords. That was that energy that I woke up in a cold sweat. 
it's just confirming what I was seeing in that vision for you, Scorpio. And all this says to me is that you want to be yourself. You know, you, you want to express yourself. Look, Page of Cups. You, you want to be creative. Look, Ace of Wands. You, you want to express. You want to tell your story. And, and, you know, telling your story doesn't necessarily have to be literal here. In the vision, it was. Um, and there were multiple other people there that were assigned to do the same thing here. But there was an element of running away from that. But what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is that that you want to be yourself. You want to express yourself creatively here. You want to be a dreamer and a thinker and a uh, an explorer of, you know, who you really are, what you believe, what you enjoy here, you know, especially with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You want a fresh new start here. And, um... In that vision, there was a lot of fear regarding that, you know, that you felt like you couldn't be yourself. That was the scariest thing in the world, but I mean, you're showing up as yourself here, so it's not that you don't have the, the boldness to do it, and it's not that you don't have the ideas and the passion. It's right here, and I mean, we have the three of uh, pentacles here as well which is a card of not only quality work, but it shows that you, you're you so good at what you do, Scorpio, whatever that may be here, you're so good at it that you're like, this is like an award-winning something or other here. Like, that's why it was ironic in the vision that you were the only one running away from the project because it's not to say that there weren't lots of talented people in that room, but there was something about your story that was just so creative, you know, it was so like enthralling, like as I'm saying it, you know how on the front of a book, <laughs> one that that is very acclaimed, there's those reviews at the bottom of the book that's like witty, enjoyable, New York best ti New York uh, Times best selling novel, so and so uh, produces a a, a witty, imaginative, uh, you know, exploratory book that opens the hearts and minds of all who read it, you know, whatever. It's like that's the sort of vibe this was giving off for me. And now we're seeing the Four of Swords with the Seven of Wands. And what this shows me here, interesting, that Nine of Pentacles has come up multiple times. Um, that, that could be a clue that whatever you're working on here is also going to be lucrative and it's going to put you in a good position financially. That's just a side note. But what I'm seeing with this Four of Swords with the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands is a card of defending yourself, uh, of feeling defensive. It's also, you know, a card of protecting yourself as well. With the Four of Swords, though, what I'm seeing here is it's looking like if you want to produce something like this that you know that is just very authentic and creative and beautiful and imaginative it's looking like you may have to take a sidebar here Scorpio and give yourself a minute here you know there's a reason why you ran away literally in the vision you know if you're feeling like you're running away from something take a minute you know slow it down and and you know, even if all those other people, there was that sense in the vision where it was like, all these other people aren't even having an issue. You know, even that one guy stood up and was like, what's your problem? Like, we all have to do this. We're all doing this. We're all telling our story. What's your problem, man? And it's like, you know what? Even if you have to quote unquote ask for an extension or give yourself more time or even if other people like make it to the stage before you whatever that means to you I'm just kind of speaking in allegory here even if you're the last to show up quote unquote let it be 
Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. And look, Queen of Pentacles, there's another financial nod for you here. You know, sometimes it's not best to rush, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? In your own time, this is your story. There was also an element in that vision of feeling like somebody was taking something away from you. Look, there's more pentacles. And look, there's more pentacles. It, it, it felt like it felt like I didn't want to let go of the paper. It was like, no, what do you mean I have to hand it in? Where is it going? Who am I giving it to? It was like, it was almost like you were like losing your creative rights. Um, I'm a writer and a musician and I've done, I've done multiple projects, um, in the past. And it's like, you know, the universe gives us opportunities and here's this wheel of fortune. Look, there's that nine of pentacles again. The universe gives us opportunities. And this is what I want to say with this. There could be 10 people that are given the same opportunity, right? Scorpio, like I saw in that vision, there was lots of people in that library. They were all writing down their story, right? The same opportunity can be given to 10 people. But you have the opportunity here, Scorpio, and I'm hearing it on this card, to do it your way be yourself there was actually an element here of when that guy in in the 80s tracksuit came up next to you and started running next to you it was like he had kind of a smirk on his face Scorpio it was like he liked that you were rebelling against the system in a sense he he was like okay this is the special person out of this group this is the one that did something different this is the one who's responding authentically this is not just somebody who you know is is looking for you know the next buzzword that's going to make them go viral this is somebody who their story is so real to them that they're actually running away from it and and that's the sense that i got Scorpio so with this wheel of fortune here and and with with this four of swords this can also be an element of time take your time it, it doesn't matter if you take longer than others your story may be the one <laughs> that ends up on the New York Times bestseller list because precisely because you ran that's part of your story, Scorpio. The fact that you were genuine and authentic and you weren't just looking to, you know, you know what I'm saying. And there's that money again. It's like you weren't just one of the crowd. And, and, and it's like there was even that try hard, that guy, look, walking away, <laughs> that guy that stood up in front of everybody and was like self-righteous and was like, dude, what's your problem, man? Like, we're being given like the opportunity of a lifetime, bro. Look, there's another pinnacle. And you're like squandering it. It's it's like, no, hey, because that guy, whoever that guy was that came up next to you and was running next to you, I have a feeling that he was actually the guy that you were going to be giving the sheet of paper to I had because he, he felt like he felt like he he ran the show is how I felt when he approached me. I felt like he was the one in charge. He was he was the one that was actually impressed by your reaction as opposed to it being like that you were being disrespectful or you were squandering your opportunity it was actually like it piqued his interest he liked it he liked how you responded he liked that you were yourself for another four 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 of wands and it fell on top of the death card See, what I'm seeing here, with this in the middle, this is time. You're taking your time, right? But what I'm seeing with these two connecting cards is 
some sort of creative work that you're doing here is going to be celebrated. You're going to be celebrating. People are going to be celebrating you. You yourself, your story, your the way you express it is different from everybody else, Scorpio. You're you. Being yourself is the scariest thing to you. And at the same time, that very truth is so relatable to people that your story is going to go over much better than the other Joe Schmo who was kind of just like, you know, kissing butt basically. And was like, don't you understand that we have the opportunity of a lifetime here? It's like, interesting. We're seeing the Hierophant here as well with the four of cups so let's keep these in the reverse this one kind of fell out in the reverse as well and look here's another four 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 whoa give me a second here scorpio i gotta look at this because we also have this ten of cups here which is another kind of community card here it's it's a group card these are both group cards and then we're also seeing the star here and the nine of swords which is the card we started off with i mean look at this guy's face he's it was like it's like waking up in a cold sweat waking up out of a dark dream is how this this man is feeling here and that's how I felt in the vision when when I woke up in a cold sweat it was this and this card is partnered with the star card and the ten of cups which shows me once again it's back to your authenticity again Scorpio with you coming out as yourself literally the first card out the death card which is also of course a card of death and transformation itself the literal meaning but this is Scorpio energy this is you and now we're seeing here as all this is unfolding you are being celebrated with the star because of this nine of swords that's the irony here that's what i've i was sensing this whole time the irony is because you didn't try to downplay this because you were honest about this that's precisely what makes you a star and, and take it literally, take it metaphorically. This is also a card of healing. You could help heal people. Because this is a card of teaching and this is a card of healing. And those two together could be a healer. A, a teacher who helps shine a light on something that helps bring healing to people. Now... It's curious that it's reversed. So that's why I need to take a minute here. Four, four, four. The number four is a number of stability. It's like the four corners of a square here. And that's not really a good square. <laughs> Let's look at this. One, two, three, four. It's, it's solid. It's secure. It's a foundation, right? That's what the Hierophant is. And, and the Hierophant's number five. Really, the Emperor is number four. But the Hierophant is a similar energy to four. It's, it's the foundation of something. It's the organization. It's the, the, the putting things in boxes. It's, it's exactly the opposite of what we were talking about here. Where it's like showing up authentically as yourself. It can often but heads with things that have been very well established over many 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 years i mean this man is respected he has two men here looking up to him there's two keys here he has the key to the kingdom the key he is the 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 middleman between heaven and earth and so what I'm seeing here with this 444 is like the foundations of, of your identity and others' identity. There's something about it that's been rocked here with the Hierophant in reverse. Base beliefs, things that have been over many, many, many years 
it's like you're tapping into some sort of collective understanding of something going on right now. And that's why you were respected by the leader who was jogging next to you. It was like he saw and understood that you had the perspective that he was looking for. The Hierophant in reverse. And this card, the Four of Cups, in the upright, it's kind of a card of like disappointment. You know, look at this guy. He's just kind of like, eh. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, I just feel like crap, basically, is this guy. But in the reverse, it's like he doesn't feel like that anymore. I wonder why. Maybe it's because he has a community now. Maybe it's because his ideas are being respected here. And so this 444 four, four, with the Hierophant in reverse is showing me that whatever you're bringing forth, Scorpio, it is some sort of idea, creative idea that goes beyond just you. It's something that can, first of all, teach others. Okay, that's the Hierophant. But second of all, there's kind of a negative, you know, there can be a negative to the Hierophant as well. Because the Hierophant is all about, like I was saying before, this is the way things are. This is the way things have always been since, you know, 500 BC or whatever. And it's like, there's something here that you're challenging, There's something here that you're challenging. Can we get an outcome here for Scorpio? Oh my gosh, dude. You have all the fours. Four of Pentacles as well. Four, 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 four. And there's that Three of Pentacles again. Which, what I was saying at the start is that this is a card of not only quality work, but it's like, it's a certain, it's a certain recognition. It's like, you are being recognized because you opened up some sort of conversation point here that challenges the norm. You opened up all the fours. That's what you're doing, Scorpio. Your authenticity, your creativity with the Page of Cups is what unlocked and, and, and broke up. I'm seeing the foundations, the, the soil. I'm seeing soil being broken up. And it's like it was hard soil. And when you go in there and break up that soil, that's when new things can begin to grow. That's when things are no longer stagnant anymore there's something revolutionary here and there's something very quality and it takes a lot of strength to do what you're doing here whatever that may be for you scorpio that could be even just be standing up for some sort of a cause it could be literally telling your story this could all be literal what i'm saying but it could really be any creative pursuit you know, this this could even be something, um, you know, regarding, like, laws with the Hierophant. This could be religious in institutions. This could be, you know, that you're protesting some sort of thing in a creative way that others haven't seen before. And there's something about it that is unlocking. It's like... <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing this, but because I don't gamble, I, I've I've never really gambled before. But what I'm and I've been to casinos, so <laughs> so I know what they look like. But it's like when when you're playing the slot machine, and it's like when all the the cherries, like four of them, turn up or whatever, or all the sevens, or you know, it's like you're you're playing this proverbial because we had the wheel of fortune you're you're playing this proverbial universal slot machine here scorpio and it's like you got four 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 and it's like the sound goes off and all the coins come out see i'm i'm referencing coins again because we saw 
And it didn't really come out here except for this one Pentacles card. We saw, though, that whatever this is, well, here's a Pentacles card. Whatever this is, it, you know, it, it's, it's also involving money. But there is a first step here. It's like the foundation for needs to be laid in order to overthrow some sort of religious, systematic, patriarchal, uh, rigid idea or system or set of beliefs here that by you talking about it, it's like unlocking something for others as well as yourself. It's the 4444 four, 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 where it's like you won the proverbial lottery here. Um, and so that I'll end on that. And um, I, I wish you all the best, Scorpio, on whatever you're working on here. It's, it's, it's amazing, whatever it is. Um, because we have the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is is not only a good uh, good creative idea like the page of cups it's quality it's unique it is it's an expert level job well done here okay so whatever this is it is very profound and i believe people are going to listen to it because you're expressing yourself authentically and you're being yourself. So if you'd like to continue this reading, Scorpio, we're going to go over to Patreon and do your extended. You can click the link in the top of the description if you want to have access to that. And uh, until next time, Scorpio, you take care.